How does the HTC One compare to the Galaxy S3? Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket Now, and in this video, we're going to compare them. Let's get to it. Okay, starting things off, let's talk about in-hand feel. The Galaxy S3 is definitely the lighter of the two at 133 grams. Coming in at 10 grams heavier uh, is the HTC One, and the reason that it's heavier is because it's got metal. Uh, the Galaxy S3 is all plastic, which means that it feels lighter in the hand. Some people like that and some people don't, but the metal feels very high quality on the HTC One. Another thing that you get with the all-metal back here on the HTC One is that it deters fingerprints so incredibly well, the best we've ever seen. When we review this one, we're not going to call it a fingerprint magnet, magnet like we seem to call every phone. Kind of like the iPhone 5, the metal here really deters fingerprints, although if you get the black version, that doesn't exactly hide the fingerprints very well. On the Galaxy S3 with the hyper glaze coating on the back, especially if you have pebble blue or the black or the red or any of the other darker colors like brown, uh, a huge fingerprint magnet on the back. Uh, even on this white version, you can see some smudges as I'm just touching along uh, the white area. Now something you get on the Galaxy S3, you don't get on the HTC One is a removable battery. So if we take off the back, we reveal the 2100 milliamp hour battery. A bigger battery here on the HTC One, and it really needs it because it's got a much higher res display. We'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, we can add storage here on the Galaxy S3. You cannot add storage on the HTC One. This particular model has 32 gigabytes. You can expand the Galaxy S3 uh, with a 64 gigabyte card and add to onboard storage. Now back here, we also see the cameras, eight megapixels and four megapixels, but HTC says megapixels don't matter. We don't really agree. Uh, you can go low res and have higher quality images, but they won't look good on a very high resolution display like an iPad or a Nexus 10. Uh, but we can say that the HTC One does take very, very good low light shots, but the Galaxy S3 seems to take slightly sharper shots and wait till the full review. We'll have full comments and comparisons on the cameras between these two devices. Now in terms of other hardware specs, while they're on their back, which one is thicker? Well, you can't tell by this camera angle, but the HTC One is slightly thinner, especially along the edge. HTC does a neat little party trick here uh, where the edge is super slim. Over here on the Galaxy S3, you kind of have to go all the way back, and it's, it's kind of the entire thickness is how thick it is, whereas on the HTC One, the th entire thickness is here and this is what you feel in your hand. So the HTC One definitely feels lighter in hand compared to the Galaxy S3. Now, if we stack them kind of front, front ways, if that's a word, uh, the HTC One is less wide, but as you can see, it's more tall. Even though the HTC One is a smaller screen, it's more tall, and the way that the reason that that is is because you've got the boom sound, this dual stereo uh, front-facing speakers, which make a huge difference, which makes the HTC One much, much, much louder uh, than the Galaxy S3. Now, over here in terms of button configuration, we've got the good old Samsung button configuration with the home button in the center. Some people love it, some people hate it. Got back and menu. On the HTC One, they removed uh, the multitasking button. So we have a home button down here. Some people say it's awkward, but I don't think it's that bad. And a back button. New code suggests that there's actually a button behind the HTC logo, which would be super awesome. It would be nice to restore the home button back to the center there because it just feels more natural uh, to go back to the center. Another interesting thing to notice is that the HTC One is doing a good job at deterring fingerprints on the front as well as the back. As we mentioned, the Galaxy S3 is getting mucked up real quick uh, with lots of fingerprints. So let's do a boot up test. Let's see which one turns on the fastest. They're both off right now. We've got the power button on the top here with an IR blaster. The Galaxy S3 doesn't have an IR blaster, but the four will. But you know, I don't think anyone cares about IR blaster anyway. So tap and hold. One, two, three, go see which of these guys starts up faster. The HTC One was much faster. It's got fast boot, which we left turned on because it's on that way from the factory, so we might as well leave it on. And the first thing you'll notice when they come on is the screens. They are very different. We've got an SLCD3 here on the HTC One. The resolution is full HD 1920 by 1080. On the Galaxy S3, we've got 720p, so 1280 down by 720 across its AMOLED. So what we're going to do here is jack up the screen brightness to 100% on both of these uh, devices. So you can see the difference in screen quality, very different screen technologies. If we go up to display here and display there, we go to Brightness, turn off auto brightness, max that out, brightness, auto brightness off, maximum screen brightness. 
And the HTC One does a really good job at staying contrasty. So if we try to go to a black page, actually, let's go back over there. You kind of see the blacks over here. Uh, even though this is an LCD panel, it's a very, very high quality LCD panel that has awesome characteristics. Uh, and it's definitely brighter than the HT, than the, uh, it's definitely brighter than the Galaxy S3. Uh, now, something that we want to look at here is viewing angles. So let's go into the Google Play Store. Maybe get some whites on the screen so we can compare apples to apples here. All right, there we go. Whites. So you get kind of that mucky kind of white there uh, on the Galaxy S3 because of the AMOLED screen. So let's go back to the exact same screen. So again, we want to compare apples to apples here. So I'm going to tilt the screen and Pretty good viewing angles on the Galaxy S3. You can kind of see it from the side there if you ignore the reflection. Over here on the HTC One, if we turn it to the side, has crazy, insane, nuts viewing angles. And we saw this on the Droid DNA. And I should mention that both of these devices are running Android 4.1.2, the official versions that come from the manufacturers. Now let's go ahead and run, some, run a benchmark real quick, Quadrant Standard. We've got a quad-core Exynos processor. This is the international version with one gigabyte of RAM. And of course, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 with two gigabytes of RAM on the HTC One. Processors will vary by region, but these are both the international versions. So let's see how they compare in the benchmarks. And the benchmark results are in. We get 5,500 on the Galaxy S3 and a smoking 12,000 on the HTC One. Of course, benchmarks don't tell the entire picture. It's just one way we use to compare devices. Let's check some day-to-day -day performance stuff. For example, how fast applications open. So let's go to the center panel here. We're gonna launch the Play Store. Four, one, two, three, go. See which opens first. Okay, about the same there. Pretty much literally the same. Let's check the camera. One, two, three, camera. Pretty much the same. I could not detect a difference. Could you? Actually, let's go back into the Play Store and install an application. See which installs it faster. So let's go to Top Free. I'm not trying to pay for an app right now. We'll go to Instagram. Let's install Instagram. Hit it at the same time. Okay, they are installing. We can watch them here through the notification shade. See which gets done first. It actually looks like the Galaxy S3 might win. Let's see. Installing, installing, successfully installed, and successfully installed. The Galaxy S3 was actually about half a second in front of the HTC One, which is very interesting. Let's go to the YouTube app. One, two, three, YouTube. Faster on the HTC One, although nothing really showed up yet. Yep, faster on the HTC One. Now let's jump into the web browser and do some web browsing speed tests. It looks like we're already loading the same page, so that's good. Uh, we're coming up on the same page, and let's see which loads faster, watching the progress bar. Okay, the HTC One finished first. We're going to stop the Galaxy S3, move around on the page. Very smooth. Everything's loaded into memory. It's not really that big of a page. Likewise, on the HTC One, let's pinch to zoom, see which clears up text faster. One, two, three, release. Slightly faster on the HTC One. Both of these devices has a little bit of white stuff going on when you go back. Let's go to the home page of Pocket now. See which gets there first. All right, it's loading up on both. Watching the progress bar here. And finish first on the HTC One. Now, one of the benefits of having such a high resolution screen, I know a lot of people say, is there a difference between 720p and 1080p? Here's one such difference. If you look in the web browser at the zoomed out view, you can actually read the text. There are so many pixels on the screen that text at the zoomed out view is actually readable. On the Galaxy S3, we should decide to go to sleep. You can kind of read text, but not really. And we can just see that the page looks better here on the HTC One with the really bright whites and the fantastic contrast. A little bit deeper blacks, just a little bit on the Galaxy S3, but that's what you get when you get a Super AMOLED screen. We're going to tap on this link. One, two, three, go. Watching the progress bars at the tap. HTC One finished first. And look at Steve Ballmer's face. A little oversaturated here on the Galaxy S3. A little more even toned. I don't think Ballmer is that tan. That's just the AMOLED screen doing its thing. So it looks like the HTC One is a little bit faster in web browsing than the Galaxy S3, but really not by that much. Both perform very well. Let's do a screen rotation speed test. Exactly, exactly at the same time. Now let's talk a little bit about software. We've got TouchWiz on the Galaxy S3 and HTC Sense 5 on the HTC One. 
there's a lot of differences here. Uh, so HTC has added this thing called Blank Feed, which lives wherever you put it on your home screen, and you can't remove it, which is kind of annoying, but hey, it's Android. You can run a third-party launcher if you hate it, which brings forth information. I've got it set up to show Twitter and Facebook and Engadget and some other sites that I like. On the Galaxy S3, you get a more standard Android home screen experience. Uh, just as many pages as you want, you can pinch to zoom out. Well, you can do that over here, too. You can add and remove home screens. And then you get into the app tray. And HTC Sense does some weird stuff with the app tray. It starts off at the top here, and you get the time and the weather. And it's kind of weird to have the time up here, right? Because the time is right over there. On the Galaxy S3, you get a much more standard, almost stock-like app tray experience. And so you scroll down here on the HTC One, scroll to the side, paginate it to the side, like a Nexus 4, for example. But again, third-party launchers uh, can, can change the whole entire experience if you don't like what you see. And of course, you see the skins throughout other parts of the operating system as well. So we've got the TouchWiz with the thick blue bars, we've got the quick toggles, no quick toggles here. So in terms of which interface feels lighter, I would definitely say that Sense finally feels lighter. I mean, everything down to the keyboard, for example, if we go back into the browser and bring the keyboard up, the keyboard just looks less 3D, it's more flat, it's more uh, contrasty than this, which kind of looks like a a 3D keyboard kind of trying to be something that it's not. HTC did a good job at keeping sense minimal. And so the hardware on the HTC One is much, much better uh, than the Galaxy S3. It feels better, it deters fingerprints, it feels better in the hand. You've got the boom sound, which really equates to high volume audio. But the Galaxy S3 is no slouch. It still keeps up with the best of the best thanks to a fast processor, well-optimized software, the latest version of Android, uh, which is just fantastic to see. So if you're you're looking at the Galaxy S3 and you're wondering if you should upgrade from your Galaxy S3 and get the HTC One, it really matters how much the hardware means to you. I mean, this has a beautiful, gorgeous screen, uh, which isn't to say that the Galaxy S3 doesn't have a beautiful screen, but there's definitely a huge difference in quality of hardware. Although don't expect a huge jump in performance if you upgrade to the HTC One, because it's very fast, but it doesn't blow away the Galaxy S3, unless you're looking at just benchmarks. And as we know, benchmarks don't matter alone. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and keep an eye on the Pocket Now video YouTube channel for more comparisons of the HTC One and the final review, which will be coming up very soon. That's it for now.